Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajaska Kasungura YouTube channel. A uh, big thank you to those who are supporting this platform. And as I always say, the only way you can support this platform is by clicking the subscribe button. And of course, remembering to turn on your notification bell. Or maybe by any chance, you can decide to buy lunch for Kakasungura because of the a time I'm spending here to educate the public on uh, Kenya's politics. You can decide, Kaka, as you educate us, as you inform us, you can also have some soda or some water you drink because Talking also is a lot of work um, that is strenuous. Welcome back to the Kenyan politics. Kaka, we all know that Uhuru Kenyatta is an African president whose tenor is completely unmatched. A transformational leader, globally recognized and respected. These are facts that not even the current president can water down. These are realities that not even the current government can water down. Uru is one of the silent but most focused productive president of our time. You can agree with me or you can disagree that is your constitutional right. When you look at how the current government is running its affairs, when you look at how the current government is handling calamities, when you look at how the current government is solving some issues, Kaka, it dawns to us that we remain to salute, respect, honor, remember, and miss the former president Uhuru Moigai Kenya. Uhuru's cabinet has the most sophisticated, qualified, sober, intelligent, calm individuals. Uhuru, when you compare with the current cabinet. The current cabinet consists of unqualified friends of the president. Uru's cabinet comprised of the most learned, the most intellectual, the most sophisticated People who were armed with wisdom. You can look at how the likes of Dr. Fred Matiangi could solve issues. Look at how Mtahi Kawe handled the COVID-19 pandemic. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the late Professor George Magoha. These are individuals who were highly intelligent. Ladies and gentlemen, these are minds of our time. People could manage affairs of the government with utmost decorum. We really miss them. During the 
campaigns and after the campaigns, the UDA allied politicians attacked Uru Kenyatta's family. They attacked his mother. They attacked his son by planting some guns. You saw how the case went. They attacked his Northland farm, I think in Ruiru. But above all those, with a Solomonic wisdom, Uru remained silent. Ladies and gentlemen, as we speak, Uru Kenyatta is an advisor to a number of African nations. He has solved election conflicts in several countries. And you saw recently South Africa recognized him as an observer in the elections. Today, because of his outstanding public character, Uru held two high-end meetings in his residence. And this is what he's saying. Today, His Excellency President, the Right Honorable Uru Kenyatta, held separate meetings today with the former Malian Prime Minister Moussa Mara and the U.S. Special Envoy for the Horn of Africa, Ambassador Mike Hammer, who paid him a custody visit at his residence. Former Prime Minister Mara, widely recognized for his notable contributions to the governance of Mali, and Ambassador Hama, who represents the United States diplomatic endeavors in the Horn of Africa, both participated in meaningful discussions with the former head of state. They underscored the importance of bilateral and multilateral cooperation in tackling regional challenges and advancing shared objectives. Now, the two meetings have not gone well with some of the UDS top leadership in this country because of some reasons which are well known to us Kenyans. The meetings have troubled some top government officials. And you know, Munajua kwa kina uhuru nyumbani is just next. Aneza panda juu ya wall aite ruto. Eh, you know, ni karibu. State house ndi oi. Kwa kina uhuru kenyata ni yapa tu. Na ni wall. Ime wa separate. Just, just neighbor. So uhuru wakisha uti kutoka hapa. Ruto anasikia the other end status. So the meetings have not gone well. With some individuals in government. Because. All along they thought. That uhuru. After retiring. Is going to rot. In Ichaweri. Walifikiria uhuru kenyata. Atatoroka Nairobi. Aende ichaweri vijijini, aende kukaa pale na kuzekea pale. They can't believe that today Uru is being widely recognized. He is traversing nations to advise and solve some political uh, rangos across Africa. And beyond. The two top government officers can't believe their ears. 
They can't believe what they are reading. They can't believe their eyes. But sasa, vile wa swahili wanasema, itabidi waanze kuzoea. Itabidi wazoe hiyo sauti. Uhuru Kenyatta is too young to be silent in this country. Uhuru Kenyatta is too young. People ask me, Kaka, why do you put a lot of background in your analysis for you to understand? A good teacher is he who lays a background before introducing a day's lesson to students. A good pastor is he who lays a background before reading the day's text. That makes the audience resonate well with him to rhyme and swim in the presentation. That is why, Kaka, I spend so much time in laying a background before I do presentation. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. God bless you. See you in the next video. Asante Nisana.